What's up guys, what's up? My name is Daryl and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create an amazing forum with WordPress. Now, in addition to this form that we're gonna create, I'm gonna go a step further and show you guys how to sort of create your own little Facebook style website where people can register, they can make an account, they can make a post, they can in engage with other users. So right here I'll put, I love this channel. And I'll post an update and then from here, other users can like it and they can comment, they can share a video link, they can share an image, uh, whatever they would like, okay? So let me give you all an example of these forums right here to show you what you can expect to learn in this tutorial. So this is my form right here. Uh, you know, I have the best YouTube tutorial, but we're gonna click on this one right here. Welcome to our forum. And right off the back, you guys see we have these stickies. So just like those other uh, forums, you guys ever been to those websites where it's like read the rules first or before you talk about something, click here. So I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate this into your own forum, just like any other forum on the internet. Also, let's go ahead and click on one of these. So I suck at cooking, help. So here you can see we have users engaging and talking and then right here I'll add in cool and I'll go ahead and make a post. And then from there, you're gonna see that post show up right here. Now, in addition to this guys, users can actually customize their own profile. Users can add friends. Users can send private messages to each other. They can create groups. They can do all sorts of really, really cool stuff. So right here, you can see that uh, the user has not put his, uh, you know, they can actually have like a little cool uh, profile photo or a cover image or whatever they wanna add. You can see what they're engaging in, et cetera. Also over here under the member section, you can see uh, what users are talking about or what they are engaging in. And also if you are signed into the forum, you can see on the top right over here that you have notifications, just like Facebook. You know, they have the little red one, here we got the blue one. So you, you get you get the, the blue one right here, okay? So going back to the form right here, guys. Uh, also on the right side right here, we have extra widgets. So we, right here we have like recent replies. Now you don't have to have these if you do not want, but they're free. Everything's free in this tutorial. So it's just added features that you can put onto your form. So, you know, we have form statistics right here of registered users. Uh, topics, replies, and then right here we have members, uh, you know, active, the most, you know, those popular ones. Usually the popular ones are like trolls, you know, where they just kind of like comment on everybody and they kind of piss everybody off, you know, so, um, you know, that's that. And also as an admin, I'll show you how you can add other people as admins. You know, you can have like a, you know, you can be an admin, you can moderate comments, you can do whatever you would want, um, just like a regular forum, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I've showed you guys this form right here, guys. It's a very simple plugin to use. Now, there's actually two plugins that we're going to use for this tutorial, but a long time ago, it used to be just one. So this is BBPress, and also we're going to use BuddyPress. So basically, BBPress is the software that you use to make the forum, and BuddyPress is sort of the way people create profiles. Now, they both work together and go hand in hand but maybe around five years ago, they decided to separate these plugins. As a result, they are two plugins, but they're basically one. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started now. Guys, I am gonna start on a brand new website that has nothing on it, no plugins installed, and I'm gonna start from scratch with you guys so you guys can follow along with me uh, very easily, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, and also guys, uh, you must have WordPress already installed. Now, if you do not have WordPress installed or you're fam not familiar with WordPress, I do have a link in the description to a video on how to uh, you know, get hosting, install WordPress, et cetera, so you can follow along with me uh, after you watch that video, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a really cool forum. It's really, really easy, guys. It's super easy. Let's go ahead and jump right into this, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install these plugins, all right? So I'm gonna go to plugins and we're gonna go to add new. <clears throat> and the plugins we're going to use is BuddyPress and BBPress. So first I'm going to install BBPress. This basically allows you to create the forum, okay? So I'm gonna click on activate. All right, and I'm gonna go back to plugins and go to add new, and now we're going to install BuddyPress. 
Now, BuddyPress gives you the ability to sort of create profiles, add friends, send messages, and also have that little activity uh, feed that you saw earlier in the tutorial, okay? All right, you know, I don't know why they separated it. I guess they felt like they should be separate, but they're very hand in hand, you know? So, all right, so let's go to our site. Let's, let's start from scratch. So we activate the plugins, okay? Now let's go back to our dashboard. And the first thing you're going to see on the left side, guys, is you're going to see forums, okay? So let's go ahead and click on forums. And we're going to create a new forum. Okay, so go ahead and give your forum a name. So what that means is I'm going to go back over here. So right here is a forum. So let's just say like uh, whatever you want to put. So welcome to, or let's just do like a welcome to WordPress tutorials. Okay, and then learn all about WordPress here, okay? And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Okay, so we've made the form. So basically, we've made this section right here, okay? Now we need to sort of create categories for that section, okay? So, I'm sorry, topics. So right here under topics, we're gonna go to new topic. So what do you want inside of that forum, all right? Let's go ahead and put best e-commerce themes what do you think okay and right here i'm going to click on publish okay so we've created a form and a topic now let's go ahead and create the page it's going to be on so right here under pages i'm just click on add new and i'm going to put the the dv form and click on publish right here okay now we need to have the short code for this form to appear. So right here under this page right here, I've actually put it in the description. All you need to do is just go ahead and copy this little short code, which gives you the ability to put the form on any page. So right here under the text section, I'm gonna go ahead and paste this, okay? And I'm gonna click on update. Okay, so remember, all we are doing right now is just creating the page for the forum to go on, all right? Now let's go ahead and preview the changes to see uh, what this looks like. All right, so we have right here, welcome to WordPress tutorials, all right? Now let's go ahead and click on it. So if I click on it, you're gonna see this form is empty. Now the reason why it's empty, guys, is because we needed to make that topic a parent, okay? So let's go ahead and go to topics right here and go to all topics, okay? So we have this topic right here, the best e-commerce themes, all right? Now we need to sort of attach it to the forum. So right here under the forum right here, we want to select welcome to WordPress tutorials and now click on update. So what that means is when somebody clicks on the welcome to WordPress, this best e-commerce themes will be a topic. All right. So let's go ahead and show you guys um, what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on forms right here. All right. So welcome to WordPress tutorials. Now I'm going to click on this right here. And as a result, you're going to see best e-commerce themes. So there is a post that we have created, okay? And we created this post, all right? Now let's go ahead and say you wanna create a sticky, okay? So over here, we're gonna go back to topics. I'm gonna to go to new topic. And right here, I'm gonna put read the rules first. Read the rules first, okay? And then right here, uh, we'll put something like, um, you know, we'll just put dummy text, you know, just test. And that right here, we'll put welcome to WordPress tutorials because it's under that forum. Remember, these are topics. So the topics go under the forum, okay? Now for type, I want to put sticky. Now, the difference between a super sticky and a sticky is a sticky will go to the way, way top, okay? It'll be the first thing they see. The sticky will go below the super sticky, okay? So let's go ahead and publish this right here. All right, so we've made a super sticky now. So let's go back over here and let's go ahead and refresh this page. And there you go. Now we have read the rules first right here, okay? Now let's go ahead and just say, uh, let's just create another topic. You know, we'll make, um, uh, before you talk about WordPress, 
click here and then I'll put uh, just, you know, some dummy text. You know, I should really get some dummy text, not test. That's it's kind of ugly, you know? Oh, I, I don't know. I'll do dummy text. I'll do dummy text. Why not? I do that a lot, you know? <laughs> I just put like one word, you know, it's, it's, it's not really good looking. So I'll just go ahead and just grab some dummy text right here. And uh, I'll put this under like, you know, the visual, whatever. It doesn't really matter for text or visual. And right here, I'll put sticky, okay? So right here, I wanna make it a form for welcome to WordPress tutorials right there. And for status guys, you can leave it open, you can close, you can trash it. But generally, you know, you wanna leave these open. You know, for example, let's say you have a topic where people start flaming each other on, or they just start, it starts getting out of hand. You might want to basically close it or trash it or something like that. So that's why they have these options right here, okay? So right here, I'm gonna click on publish. And as always, guys, you can add uh, topic tags to this, you know, like uh, Divi or um, theme or WordPress for your theme or for your um, for your form right here. OK, so we've made this uh, sticky right here. Let's go ahead and see how it looks on this form. OK, very easy, guys. Really, really simple. It's it's very self-explanatory. So basically what we've done is we've created a super sticky. We've created a sticky and just a regular topic right here, okay? So again, guys, we're gonna go to our forms and welcome to WordPress tutorials. Click on it, you see these right here, okay? So now let's go ahead and show you another thing about these forms, okay? So we've basically created a form and we've created topics for it, all right? Now let's go ahead and go back to forms. Now, if I click on new form right here, on the way right over here, it's gonna say type. So we have form and category. Now guys, a category is basically, it's basically something that holds all of the forms. So purposely you create a category and in that category, you create a lot of forms inside of it. Now, I don't know how big your form is going to be, but that's generally the purpose of a category. So right here, I'll, I'll put, um, you know, um, WooCommerce plugins. And then I'll go ahead and paste it and then I'll go ahead and publish that, okay? I'll show you an example of what a category looks like. Now, I don't recommend categories. I, I don't, I don't. So you basically click on it, and then from there you can post other things inside of it, okay? So it's it works just like a regular forum, but it's considered a category where you're supposed to put more forums inside of the category, okay? Now also guys, you can make this a parent of another forum. So let's go ahead and change this back to forum. And let's say I wanna make this a parent to the other forum. Okay, so let me just show you a visualization of what I mean because it might be a little difficult to understand what I'm talking about. So right here, I have welcome to WordPress tutorials and then you see right here, we have um, a, a subcategory for our forum. Now you don't have to do that. I'm just showing you the options of what you can do with this. And then from here, you can make a topic inside of it. Okay, so topics, I'm gonna go to new topic. And then right here, I'll put uh, best plugins, best plugins 2017. I'll go ahead and throw in some dummy text. And now right here under the forum, we can make this a topic for the sub forum right here. Okay. So this right here would go under the WooCommerce plugins and I'll go ahead and publish it. Now guys, I'm, I'm kind of venturing off, but I'm just trying to show you all of the features because I don't like those tutorials where they leave stuff out. You know, I, I hate that. I really, truly hate that. Or they're like, yeah, it's really easy. Go ahead and read the directions and then that's it. So right here, we have WordPress plugins. If I click on this now, now we have a uh, topic right here. We have the topic of best plugins 2017 along with our super sticky that will show wherever we go, okay? So that is an example of categories, okay? So going back over here, guys, you know, we've basically sort of created the form really, really simple, really, really easy. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, talk about um, what you can add over here on the side right here. OK, so these right here are widgets right here. So let's go ahead and click on this right here. And let's say the user comes here and, and they see all this and they're saying, OK, cool. You know, um, we have all this stuff on the side. Let's go ahead and change some of this. OK. So right here, I'm gonna go to our widgets right here. And right here, you see we have all these right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these. Okay, so we're gonna delete these right here. 
and we're just going to go ahead and add in some of these other ones right here that we can, um, you know, that they've given us right here. So we have a login, you know, we might want to add a, a login right here. We have a form list, form search, login widgets. Um, now remember these right here are for BB press. These right here are for buddy press right here. Okay. But they go hand in hand. So it doesn't really matter which one they choose because they're making an account on your website. So right here, I'll do something like, um, uh, recent topics right here. We'll do members. We can do who's online. We can do statistics and I'll go ahead and save this right here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go back to our website right here or our forum. Okay. Now I need to sort of make the page also guys where, uh, is right here on the menu because it's not there yet. So let's go ahead and add it to our menu. Okay. So view all, and we're going to go ahead and add in the Divi form right here, add to menu and drag it up and save the menu. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty standard. So right here, Divi form. Now here are the forms that we created. So welcome to the WordPress tutorials. I click on it and right here you see we have that category still there. And right here we have those other um, posts that we made earlier. Okay. So that's basically it guys right here. We have the who's online. We have the members. We have the form statistics. We have recent topics, you know, WooCommerce plugins, all the stuff right here. Okay. So remember, uh, the categories will show up here guys. And if they click on it, it's like an additional forum inside the forum. So you can kind of mess around with it, decide if you like this look or not, but, um, that's basically what it is. Okay. Now let's just say how do users register? You know, how does everybody get started? You know, like how do they register? How does stuff work, et cetera. Okay. So that's a very, very good question. We need to make sure that anybody can register for this website. So going over here to dashboard, we're going to go down to settings right here and we're going to go down to general. Now you need to make sure for membership that anyone can register. Now guys, if you do not have this checked, people can't register to your website, so it will be a problem and your forum will not work. So you need to make sure for membership that is checked. Okay. So right here, I'm going to scroll down, just keep scrolling and go to save changes. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to visit this on a different browser to show you guys what this will look like from a complete stranger's point of view. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to this form right here or this, uh, browser. Now I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page right here. All right. And right here you see we have Divi forum, right? So I'm going to click on this and the user right here can see a login up here and also a register now. Okay. Now when you create, I'm sorry, when you activate those plugins guys, it's going to create the pages for you automatically. Okay. Now if those pages do not work or you get a 404 error, I have short code uh, description from their website or I'm sorry, that's all that came out wrong. <laughs> I have uh, short codes from their website in the description. Okay. So be sure to check that out. All right. So right here, I'm going to say, all right, you know, I want to register. I want to, I want to talk about this stuff because you know, I, I can't really engage in this stuff. You know, if I click on this, uh, I can't talk about it. You know, I, I can't, uh, it says you must be logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to register. All right. And this is the user. They'll be brought to a page that looks just like this. So I'll put Patty Wack 800. I'll put an email address right here. I'll put a password and I'll put a name. So this one will be seen by everybody. So I'll put uh, Patty. Patty's my dog. So I just use her for a lot of stuff. And um, <clears throat> okay, so this one's already used. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, I'll put my other one right here. It's probably the one I'm used, I'm registered with. I do that a lot. I have so many emails. It's bad. <laughs> it gets out of hand, you know? Okay. So check your email accounts to activate your account. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my other account right here. All righty. So the user will be brought to something that looks like this right here. Now guys, um, my, my configuration is not set up properly. So a majority of my letters go into spam right here, but, uh, rest assured yours will not just the way my configured is a lot of it goes to spam as you guys can see. So your, your uh, member will get something that looks like this right here, where it says activate your accounts. Okay. 
they'll go ahead and click on it. Right here, they'll say, okay, cool, thanks for registering. I'll go ahead and click on it. Okay, they click on it. Your account is now active. Now the user can go ahead and log in right here, okay? So right here, we have the username that we created and the password, and they can go ahead and just log in right here. Okay, so here we go. All right, the user is now logged in. You can see on the top right, the user is logged in. We can go to the Divi form right here. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and then inflame somebody. Let's go ahead and get banned, you know. <laughs> so this is right here, best e-commerce themes. What do you think? You suck. All right, you suck, and then submit. Okay. All right, so there we go. All right, so that is basically it. Now let's go ahead and click on one of these profiles right here. So right here, you can see that we can send like a public message to this person or whatever. Now let's go ahead and change those settings because earlier that we had those options of adding a friend. We have creating groups, we have you know private messaging, etc. Let's go ahead and enable those options with BuddyPress, okay? So let's go ahead and go back to our website. Now remember this browser right here, we are logged in as the admin, okay? So going back over here to dashboard. Now we are going to configure, um, what is it? BuddyPress. So we basically created the forum with BBPress. Now we're gonna sort of give a little bit more control to the users with BuddyPress, okay? So going back down here, I think it is right here under settings. It's going to be under buddy press. Okay. So right here is basically what you can give to the users. Do you want to give private messaging? Do you want to give friend connections? Do you want to give user groups and site tracking? I'm going to say, yes, I want everyone to be happy. Everyone's going to be happy. Okay. Now also under pages here, they have some, uh, more features right here where people can register, activate, et cetera. Now guys, if you click on one of the, you know, like the view and it does not work or your page just does not create, they do have free support forums, okay? I know sometimes it really sucks when you follow the steps like word for word and sometimes it doesn't work. You know, in WordPress, weird stuff happens. It's just the way it goes. I, I don't know why, but sometimes weird stuff happens, okay? And they also have a little options feature right here where people can, you know, add a cover photo or avatars or, you know, whatever they want to add, you know, to their website, you know, like little pictures or something like that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and go back over here. All right. We're going to go back over here and we're going to go ahead and refresh this page right here. Now you guys can see add a friend, public message, private message. Now we have a profile right here. Now under the profile, you can see that we can change our name right here, uh, et cetera, okay? So now we can go ahead and add this user, you know, we can message him, et cetera, okay? So that is an example of, um, you know, let's go over here and click on my profile right here. And under my profile right here, I can go ahead and leave a status now, guys. I can say, hey, hey, what's up? And post an update to that. Now, if you want this to show up, we're gonna go ahead and have to create the page for it on the menu, okay? But before we do that, let's go ahead and go to our profile. And right here, you can change the profile photo. You can change their cover right here. And uh, they have they have their own little settings, guys. You know, they can they can you know lose their password. They can do all sorts of stuff, whatever they want to do in their little their little account right here. Really cool. It's it's a really cool plugin. You know, it's it's kind of cool. You give them all this this uh, feature to do whatever they want. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, add this to our menu over here. Okay. So we have, we basically created that little member section. Now we wanna go ahead and add it to the menu up here, okay? So going over here, we're gonna go to menus. I'm gonna go to view all, all right? Now we have activity right here, all right? And also we have members, all right? So activity and members. Now these pages should have been created automatically, guys, okay? So let me go to save menu. If it does not for you guys, I'm, you know, my heart goes out to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I'll put the, uh, the facts in the description. All right. So now I'm going to go to activity right here and voila. Now we have this beautiful sort of Facebook style. So right here I'm putting like, uh, I love this forum, this forum and go to post update and they have all sorts of cool stuff. You know, they can post in, you know, different, um, I guess they can post in like different uh, posts in profile. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure what that feature is. And also you can mention someone, but the mention someone's don't really work. You know, you could put like at and then put the person's name. And then from there, 
uh, it should basically let them know like it should give them a notification saying hey i'm talking to you brother or, hey what's up you know now guys if you clicked on activity and nothing happens there is nothing on the page don't freak out you need to change your permalinks all right so if you clicked on this and it was just activity with nothing over here you're gonna go down to divi or you go to i'm sorry go to your your dashboard and you're gonna go down to your um where they take permalinks at settings and go to permalinks now this must be under post name if it's under a custom structure or something different you're gonna get a blank page so it must be under post name okay and if it works for you guys on this plane or you know name and day i i guess that works out but if it's under custom it will not work okay you'll just get a blank page all right so let's go ahead now and also check out members right here so there we go we got members and people are commenting it we can add them as a friend oh you can also cancel it you know maybe you guys like you know they get in like a squirrel or they, they fight over something later you can say yeah you know what i don't want to be your friend no more and they can they can cancel that right there okay now one other thing i want to show you is how you can sort of appoint people to be moderators or how you can appoint them to you know uh you upgrade them you know they they they, they get upgraded you know so we're gonna go to your um your users right here and go to all users okay and right here we have this person right here so let's say patty wax been hanging around your forum for a while and you're kind of like you know this guy's trusted you know i trust him you know I, you're a moderator now okay so over here under role you're going to go ahead and change it to administrator or i think author or editor works but i know administrator works you know i i don't really know 100 percent so you might want to double check with their forms right here maybe contributor Okay, because I think admin will actually give them the power to sort of control your website. So you might want to double check on the uh, the role management right here. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure uh, what gives them the ability to um, maybe author. I think admin gives them the ability to mess with your website. So don't do admin. Okay, double check with uh, BuddyPress or BBPress before he decides to upgrade their role. Okay. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our form. You know, congratulations, guys. We made a really cool form. Now, guys, I am actually making a second tutorial on a different forum because this forum is somewhat limited. Now, what I mean by that is you can subscribe to this, really? That's so cool. Oh, you get a notification up there. Yeah, that's right. You get a notification if you subscribe, okay? That's also a cool feature. Now, the reason why I'm introducing a second forum software is because if you want to change the color, if you want to change the design, if you want to move this sidebar right here, you can't. You have to use custom CSS in order to get that um, accomplished. Now, I've, I've actually used this same uh, plugin right here, and I've changed the color and I've removed the sidebar, but I had to get a developer to help me because uh, by default, it doesn't uh, do that, okay? So I think that's about it, guys, for this tutorial. Uh, if there are anything you guys want to know about, anything that I didn't go over, um, maybe the login form. So let's say people wants to log in. No, we went over that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you guys uh, liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you later in the future video. I'll see you guys later.